The time has come for us to turn away from the mistakes of the past. Acting Mayor Janey's decision today is wrong. There is already a Boston police commissioner, and that is Dennis White. The lawyer for suspended police commissioner Dennis White firing back at the mayor after she made moves to fire him. White is now filing a lawsuit saying the mayor did not follow due process and has no cause to get rid of him. As WBZ's Nick Emmons reports, the controversy stems from domestic abuse allegations dating back to the 90s. It has been anything but a smooth transition ever since William Gross announced that he would be stepping down as commissioner in January. Now you have a legal battle between the acting mayor of Boston and the commissioner she didn't appoint. Good afternoon. In an afternoon news conference, acting Boston Mayor Kim Janey released the findings of a weeks long investigation into Dennis White. This investigation of Dennis White reveals a flawed process and a misguided department culture. The veteran Boston police officer was appointed commissioner by former Mayor Marty Walsh in February, but only served two days on the job until allegations of domestic abuse against his ex wife resurfaced from more than 20 years ago. The findings in the report, enough for Janie to move on. Dennis White's own admitted behavior does not reflect our values. But White is fighting back, filing a complaint in court in an effort to remain commissioner. The city does not have evidence and is basing their case on rumor and hearsay. White's attorney argues acting Mayor Janie does not have the power to remove White from his appointed position and must follow a strict process. By statute, any removal requires notice, a hearing, and cause. Mayor Janey ran roughshod over those legal requirements today. White's attorney says Janey even called his client this morning to inform him his replacement would be Superintendent Nora Baston, who's been with BPD since 1996. That's something Janey denies. That is not what I said to Commissioner White when I spoke to him this morning. I said it was time to move in a different direction. I did not name uh, who his successor would be. Well, according to I Team sources, Nora Baston would be the person that Janey appoints as commissioner. If that happens, she would become the first black woman to lead the department. Nick Emmons, WBZ News.